Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup. It's specifically kind of towards like prom and special events, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe you like Megan Fox and you want to do her makeup, but this is the makeup I chose um, as one of my favorites for prom because I think it really defines your eyes and Megan Fox always looks amazing, so hence the whole eye tutorial. Um, I'm going to zoom you in. Um, I'm not wearing false eyelashes, but I really, really recommend that you wear false eyelashes. That is like the biggest thing that I will recommend for you for prom because it will really help your eyes stand out and look better in pictures. Um, but you want to use ones that are natural and just like test them out before you actually use them on the day of prom to make sure they look good and try to see if they'll blend in with your lashes nicely. Um, and I will do a false eyelash video later on so that you can see it uh, because I know it's like a huge deal um, and I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there so make sure you do a little bit of research before you start doing that but yeah this is the makeup so if you want to know how I did it stay tuned and keep watching alright so the first thing we're going to do is take the jumbo um, pencil from NYX and start outlining the eye now this is a bit complicated um, to make it the right shape um, because it's a really thick point and I need this to be extra thin so make sure you sharpen it before you use it and blend it out very gently and then the rest we're just bringing up here and blending it out on the lid And we're only doing this like halfway, maybe three fourths in, but not all the way. And just need to blend that in carefully. All right, so now we're gonna go in with a little like brush like this one, and we're gonna go in with Tempting Terror to put this in the inner corner. This is our white and Devilish Danielle as our kind of like lid color. Now using Tempting Terra, I'm going to just go ahead and place this in the inner part of the eye. And I'm using the screen finder um, as a mirror because I can't hold everything in my hand. So I'm going to apply that and bring this up a little bit. And then we're going to go in with Devilish Danielle. And I'm just going to use my finger and place this starting from the center, working my way inwards. Like this, and you can see how I did it on this side. And then you just want to blend it in with the white. Because this will give you the lighter shade in the inner corner here. And this is really the centerpiece of our entire eye look. And then you just want to kind of brush it here, blend it in nicely. So that it really blends in and kind of just looks like a gradient rather than like two separate colors. Now we're going to go in with Sleek from the uh, Nude Tude palette, which I'm sure a lot of you own. And it's just like a dark brown and I'm going to be taking this brush right here um, to just add that into the outer corner and make this color kind of the darkest color we end up using. Now this color is actually really really messy so I'm going to be taking like a little card, this is like a Victoria's Secrets like coupon thing, and I'm going to just take this underneath the eye so that I could apply the darkest color right here in the corner. Then I'm going to let go and then I'm going to blend this in so like you can see that it starts out super dark but then we're going to work our way and just pat it. And because this is a really dark color you don't want any like sudden movements, you want everything to be very gentle, very soft. And then you take a bigger blending brush, something like this, and you blend the top to make sure you have like a little bit more of a gradient. Now once you got that blended in, you really want to make sure you don't go into the crease all too much because for her, it's usually just like the only the eye area in the top is supposed to be very simple. Um, so I'm going to be going into the Naked palette and using Virgin because it's one of my favorite highlight colors. Um, because everything is so dramatic, I want a little bit of... A glow to the highlight color not necessarily like a matte one um, if you prefer matte you can go in with um, heaven from the Too Faced natural eye palette but because I'm not 
looking for a matte shade right now. I'm going to be going in with this. And Megan Fox always has that really elegant kind of cat, cat eye look. So I'm going to go again with um, a little bit of a lighter color. I'm going to go in with this one, Sophisticated. And I'm going to be taking the fluffy brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of it, not too much. And again, just work on the outer kind of part. Now I'm just going to take the same jumbo eye pencil and place that underneath the eye or like the waterline just to make sure that it brightens up your eye and makes you look a little bit more awake. Like that. Alright, so now I applied my mascara and um, I used the Falsies um, by Maybelline, right? Yes, this one. And then I layered on top of that the L'Oreal um, co Collagen something. Both of them are like black. And then, because I just wanted to add a little bit more, I don't know, like definition to the bottom ones, I use this Buxom little sample I have because I really like the brush. And then I layered on top, on the very top, again, uh, Maybelline Rocket. I hate this mascara so much. Don't waste your money on it. But I just want to finish using it, so I use it to, like, darken it up a little bit. Um, but I hate this mascara. It's, like, absolutely the worst thing I've ever purchased. And everybody on YouTube who has been raving about it is mistaken because this is nowhere near any mascara that I've ever used that, like, shocks me. This is the worst mascara I've ever used, and I hate it. Um... So yeah, this is the finished look, and now we're going to move on to the lips. Um, she wears more of like a nude lip, so we're going to kind of play it off of a nude lip, but keep it a little bit more natural tone, because I don't want us to look like, you know, zombies in our prom pictures. The first thing I'm going to do is line my lips, because um, uh, she has a different lip shape than I do, and I don't know, it's I just like lining my lips. Like so. And the next thing I used was this, the Revlon uh, Just Bitten Kissable. And this is my favorite one. It's called Precious. Um, it's number f 50. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell because this camera hates to focus on me. But it looks like this. And it has a little bit of a shine to it. So you don't necessarily need to wear a lip gloss. But if you are, I don't know, in the mood to wear a lip gloss, I recommend NARS. Um, this is their... Uh, Candy says it was part of a limited edition one, but um, this color is just gorgeous, so just putting that out there. Like so. And then you have your whole look, but now I'm going to add a little bit of a cheek color because she did have one. And I'm going to be using the NYX HD Studio, um, like, this is the grinding blush in Nutmeg. And basically how it works is you, like, twist it and the color gets, like, taken off. Um, I'm going to take a blush brush from Sigma. Swirl it a little bit in the top cap thing. And apply it onto the higher parts of my cheeks. And then really lightly just bring it towards the apples. Like so. And there you go. You got your look. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in my next prom video. And let me know if you have any other celebrities that you like absolutely love their makeup and you want me to recreate it. Because I really like this one. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.